All right, guys. Sean here, and we are looking at the Project Nano and the tank sitting there on my bedside table is the Marine Space MC40 model. It's eight gallons, and it's pretty sick. I fell in love with it as soon as I saw it at the LFS. So, very nicely priced. It comes with a pretty nice light. As you can see, that's how it mounts to the top of the tank. It's got these uh, plastic legs. They're adjustable. There's three settings, so you can adjust the height from, I guess, the corals, according to your liking. And what's really cool is the filtration compartment. So the first compartment here is actually made for a skimmer that is available, optional, um... I'm not sure what the price is. The LFS is going to get me a price on it, but um, it's a slight upgrade. And it fits right in there, and it's below the surface, so it's not even visible uh, once installed. And then you can see the sump-like layout, where we, we've got different levels. And there is space there for filter floss uh, biomax or anything similar that you'd like to put in this compartment and this would be the pump compartment slash I guess um, the heater will go here too so really nicely made aquarium beautiful there's some fine details on it. The Marine Space logo. And it's on both sides. As you can see, it fits real nicely on my bedside table. So I've got room to hide any books I'm reading back here. Um, I've got room to put my phone charger up here. And uh, yeah looks real nice so let me show you what's in the box so here we have instructions and you can see the different models that are available so we're looking at the MC40 there's also an MC20 and I'm not sure what size that is but just judging by the numbers it's probably an eight, uh, four gallon being that this is an eight gallon and then the MC60 which I saw in a store today as well. Also a very nice tank. And uh, that one's 22 gallons. There's assembly instructions to put in uh, the glass rings, the biofoam, the optional protein skimmer. You can see that there. And it shows exactly how to hook the water pump up. So there is a glass canopy that comes with this thing. Tells you how to install it, very similar to your Fluval specs that you might have some experience with. There's some clips for the um, glass canopy that need to be installed. Uh, not very good instructions on telling you how to install those, but um, I think I'll figure it out. So there are your instructions there. So what's in the box is the glass canopy. It has um, like a trapezoidal cut to it. Not sure exactly why that is. And there's the bulkhead with the hose. This is the pump that comes in the box. Uh, I've never seen this brand before. It's the Grec, Grec, Gretsch submersible pump fresh and salt water and it's called a CHJ 600 now according to this 
it's saying the flow rate is 100 to 600 GPH, which I find impossible. So I'll have to do a little bit more research on that. I don't believe it's as powerful as they claim it is, but we'll take a look. On the box, it's got some instructions, both in Chinese and in English. And some more stats comparing it to some of uh, the different models that are available. So this is the CHJ600. There's one model lower and I can't really make heads or tails of anything uh, pertinent to the uh, GPH rating on these numbers. So maybe I can compare it to something similar in another brand. So, um, also in the box is the second piece of the light, and that's also part of the light. There's two pieces of foam, and the Biomax bag or whatever. You want to call those things. There's also the glass clips for the glass canopy, so I'll figure that out in a second. So that's basically what's in the box. And I happen to have uh, eight pounds left of some live sand that I used on um, the 2.6 gallon uh, Pico, Project Pico. So I'll be using the rest of the sand. Uh, I was originally thinking I was going to use black sand, um, so I'm kind of torn on which way I should go. I originally wanted to put a white Spec 5 here, but uh, again, once I saw this thing, I fell in love with it. So, um, kind of had a change of heart, and I'm just going to, I guess, go with the white sand instead of the black. Uh, but let me know what you guys think. So, um, I'm not sure if I'm going to use any of the live rock from uh, my 10 gallon tank because I've got some uh, bristle worms in there and I, I'm going to try to keep this one as pure as possible because I'd like to uh, go for coral. Also on this one, I'm going to cycle it the right way. I'm not going to speed the process up with bar spire or anything like that. We're just going to go ahead and wait it out. So. Um, this project is going to take a little bit longer uh, than my project Pico, uh, which is sitting uh, right over here underneath my TV. It's uh, it is cycling right now. So um, anyhow, this is the new project. So um, please subscribe to my channel, and uh, thank you for watching my video.